Welcome to CAD Tutorials and in this video I'll be covering practice problem 7.2. Now given this circuit we are asked to find V of t for time greater or equals to zero and the energy associated with the capacitor at time zero. Now we know for sure that the capacitor voltage doesn't change abruptly which means the capacitor voltage just before zero is equal to the capacitor voltage just after zero and this is associated with this switching action which is going to take place here so for a long time this part over here was closed so since we now have dc when this part is closed we have dc and a capacitor is an open circuit to dc which means we essentially have this we have the 24 volts. This is for time less than zero. 24 volts. And we have this open circuit over here with that voltage indicated across. And then we have the 12 ohms on this side. We have the 12 ohms. Then we have the 4 ohms. So this is what we basically have which tells us that this V, which is the voltage which is across the capacitor, is the same as the voltage which is across these two resistor values because this V is in parallel with these two, right? So now that we know that, we can just combine, also here we have six ohms. Now that we know this, we can just combine these two in parallel. So let's combine those in parallel and then 12 plus four is 16, so that is four, that is one, so four into that is three ohms. So the parallel combination of these is three ohms. So you can therefore now do voltage division to find this V, and this V is actually VC, a time before zero, just before zero, which is the same as just after zero. So you can just label this as just V, which is the voltage associated with the capacitor at time zero. So this is what we're going to say, 24 multiplied by the parallel combination divided by the parallel combination plus six. So at the bottom we have nine, so nine, we have nine over here. So just divide that, we have three and that cancels out. Three into that is eight. So which means our initial voltage across the capacitor is eight volts. So now I have our initial condition and we know that V of T is equal to our initial voltage to the power negative T divided by the time constant. So now let's proceed to find the new circuit after removing this at time zero. So after removing this, we actually remove this whole part and we're only left with the circuit to, to our right. So now that we have that, we now have a source free RC circuit and we can therefore just do RTH with respect to this, which is just going to be the parallel combination of these two. And we computed the parallel combination of these two to be three ohms previously. And therefore, we can proceed to find our RC, which is our time constant. And therefore, our R is three. And the value of our capacitor is one over six. And therefore, we're going to have two. So which means our time constant is 0 0.5 seconds. So now, substituting everything that we have into this formula, we're going to have V of T is equal to 8, which we found as our initial voltage. And we're going to have E to the negative T divided by 0 0.25. So 1 divided by 0 0.25 is going to be 2. And writing this in compact form, it gives us this volt for time greater or equals to 0. Right. So now move on to the second part of the question, which asks us to find the energy at time zero. So energy is equal to half CV squared. Now that we told it's for time zero, we're going to use the voltage at time zero. So we're going to have half C, which is the value of the capacitor, one over six. Then we're going to have VO, which is going to be eight. We find it to be eight. So square that. So we're going to have 64 divided by 2, which is 32, and then 32 divided by 6 is going to be our final answer. So just punch that into your calculator, and you should find 5.333 joules.